Oh, look, see, I'm sweating. Look, you can see. This is wicking away from my body and it will dry. Mm. Doesn't smell. This is my show, gosh darn. What's up, friends? I'm Miranda. This is another episode of Miranda in the Wild, and this is everything that I wear hiking. So I'm gonna do a little hiking clothing fashion show. All my stuff has holes in it, so it'd be really good. Hit the lights. Ta-da! There are three main topics that I'm gonna cover in this video. The first one is about different materials of hiking clothing. The second is how to layer, and then the third is all the stuff that I wear in a season of hiking. Materials. In general, I recommend that people avoid cotton. Now this isn't to say that you can never wear cotton, but there is a saying in the outdoor industry that cotton kills. Cotton as a material actually holds moisture, and so if you are outside and you get wet, say you're sweating or it rains, that water will sit next to your skin and it will no longer insulate your body. So even a temperature that doesn't necessarily feel very cold can all of a sudden be dangerously cold if you are wearing cotton. So in general, I say unless you're hiking in like a really warm temperature, I would just recommend avoiding cotton. Probably wondering if you can't wear cotton, what can you wear? Really wool and synthetics. And you'll see some buzzwords like quick dry and wicking. Really all this means is that these materials allow moisture to be pulled to the front, like to the top of it and then dry quickly, which will help keep your body warm. Groovy, let's talk about layers. When you're outside, I generally recommend that people have a variety of different layers so that they can be comfortable regardless of whatever the temperature is. In general, when we talk about layering, we're looking at a base layer, which is your first layer, a uh, mid layer, or um, like a fleece, something like what I'm wearing right now, and then an insulating layer, which is going to help like trap in your body temperature. On top of that, you also have your outer layer, your hard shell, which is gonna keep you dry. The point of that outer layer is to protect you from the elements. So you've heard me talk about the types of materials, we've talked about layering, and now I'm going to show you everything that I wear for a variety of different seasons of hiking. Just a, a reminder, I am not a fashionista. This is not a fashion show. To the red carpet. Let's do it. So in the summertime, especially when it's really hot, I will wear shorts and a tank top. They're just like a quick dry, really comfortable pair of shorts. And then I have this wool tank top. And then I like to wear a buff so that I have something to like pull my hair back or also cover my face. I have my trail runners on. If it starts to get really windy or really cold, I always have this lightweight windbreaker in my backpack. So this is my like hot summer extra layer, which will help protect me from the wind and just provides a little bit of warmth and packs down really small. In general, I feel like wearing pants is just like my preference. Pants, these are a pair of pants that have a little bit of stretch to them. They dry quickly and they help protect my legs from things like nettles or bugs. So once the temperature starts to get cooler, I'll put on my fleece and either a beanie or my hat. I'll also bring my vest with me. This is something that just adds some insulation in my core and helps keep me warm. As it starts to get even colder, I'll add more insulation. My insulation layer, this is my synthetic jacket. So I guess like one of the benefits of layering is that I don't have to wear this fleece with this. I could wear a long sleeve shirt and add my vest and then put this synthetic layer on. But really it's just like a matter of creating a system that keeps me most comfortable. Now, you probably know by now that I live in the Pacific Northwest and it rains. So this is my hard shell. This is what protects me from the rain and from the wind. Rain jacket, very dry, very comfortable. Bam. So even though I'm wearing all these layers right now, I'm not necessarily going to be wearing them every time I go hiking in cold weather, nor am I even gonna bring them on some trips. This is just to show you the variety of different layers that I have and how I like to wear and layer my clothing for the walking. <laughs> <laughs> So if I'm starting out a hike, I'm generally not wearing all of this stuff. It's recommended that you actually start wearing clothing as if it's 10 degrees warmer outside than it actually is. And this is just because your body will start to heat up and you don't want to be wearing too much stuff once you start sweating. So in the winter time, I tend to swap a couple of things, or a couple of like really big things. So the first thing is my shoes. When it starts to get really cold, I actually have insulated hiking boots. But if it's not super cold and I don't wanna wear insulated shoes, I'll just wear my hiking boots. Hiking boots. And then on my bottom layer, I have a slightly heavier, like soft shell pant. And if it's super cold, I can wear my base layer, like wool base layer underneath these. And on my top layer, I still have my tank top on. And then I have my wool long sleeve base layer. And then on top of that, I have my synthetic vest. I also swap out my synthetic buff for a wool buff. This again, just provides some extra insulation around my neck. And then I obviously have my mini. So this is my down jacket. This is my extra warm layer for when it gets really cold outside. Winter time. I just found five dollars in your in your pocket. In my pocket. So another important part of layering and staying warm is dealing with your hands. 
I have a wool liner glove. Then I have a windproof glove. And then if it gets really cold, these are my snowshoeing gloves. This is a waterproof insulated glove. Gloves, they are warm. I think that pretty much that covers what I wear for hiking for all seasons of the year. The end. So it's taken me several years to figure out my best system of hiking apparel, but hopefully by showing you what I wear and covering materials and layers, you can find what works for you. If you like this video, hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you all in the wild with your base layers and your jackets, like your sweaty armpits. This has been another episode of Miranda in the Wild. Goodbye. Oh no. <laughs>